am starting off my day with a little hot girl walk. We're doing a walk outside. I usually don't walk outside, but the weather was really nice. It's like in the 70s today. And I don't know, I just felt like getting some fresh air. So we're doing like a brisk 30 minute walk. And then I'll probably go back inside and run. I know I could just run out here, but I prefer to have like my water because I didn't bring any water with me. I prefer to have like my kind of like setup when I'm running. Um, so I'm just getting some steps in right now. And I really just wanted to do this to be in the fresh air, you know? So yes, guys, welcome to the vlog. I'm gonna go back inside in a few minutes and get my day started. I have some admin and work stuff I have to do, but other than that, I have a pretty chill day and I'm gonna just stay home today, show you guys some hauls, cook a little bit and have a nice cozy um, day at home. I got these new headphones. These are actually the only things I picked up from the Amazon Prime Day sale because I really didn't need anything. But what I really was looking for was a pair of new headphones because I, so I used to have the AirPod Maxes. And I sold those because I did not like them at all. I should have returned them as soon as I like bought them. But they were just really tight on my head. They were very uncomfortable. I didn't like how this part felt on the top. It was like wired. And also I didn't like the ears. It was like kind of like a cloth material. So when I would sweat in them, when I would work out, it just felt so gross and it would like stay damp. Um, so I didn't, I didn't like them. Honestly, they're not worth how much were they? $500, so I sold them. So yeah, I was in the market for some new headphones because every time I run or work out with my AirPods, which I also have, I don't like AirPods at all. I don't really like any type of earbuds because they always slip out of my ears. I always have to like every two or three minutes like shove them back in my ear and then they would just end up falling out and slipping. So it made it so difficult to listen to music and to run. So I just needed a pair of over the head headphones. And I saw these were on sale. These are the Beats Studio Pro. And these were on sale. They were 50% off for Prime Day sale. And I was reading reviews. People were saying that they go on sale pretty often for like Black Friday, um, obviously the Amazon Prime Day sale. So I think I'll go back on sale again soon if you wanna buy them. I'm not very picky with headphones. Like they don't need to be too loud. I don't really like to listen to my music loud. My biggest thing was that I just wanted a good noise cancellation and I wanted just like a good sound quality. Um, and this has both of them. The noise cancellation is amazing. I literally had to like wear it with one of them off when I was walking outside because I literally couldn't hear anything and like that's kind of dangerous to walk outside not hearing anything. So I was walking around outside like this because that's how good the noise cancellation was. And I love the the ear piece here. The material is like a, um, I'm not sure what it is, but it's the type where it's easily like you can wipe it off. Like so when my ears get sweaty, I just take it off, wipe it off with a towel, and I do disinfect it every couple days. But um, it's just so easy, like it doesn't stay wet, it doesn't stay damp like the AirPod Maxes did. And I love this brown color. This is the, I think it's just called the brown color. It's like a really pretty chocolate brown. So yeah, I love it. I recommend if you're looking for a new pair of headphones. I also was looking at the Sony, the Sony headphones. I forgot the exact name of it. And I was also comparing it um, to the Sonos headphones. Those are both super expensive. And Sony had a few on sale, but they were still like $300 even on sale. So these were one, I got these for $169 on sale. So $170 um, plus tax, I got it for $180. I also got this new phone case. I saw that Rode came out with their new lip, their new lippies. I love the Rode lip treatments. I have so many of them and I go through them pretty quick. So I saw that they had this new color. This one's called Shortcake. It's a really pretty, I'll put it on right now. It's a really pretty light pink color. It kind of just gives a, a little tint to your lips. Nothing too drastic and I don't like really drastic lip tint colors. I just like the kind of natural ones. So we got that and then I saw that they had the matching cases. So they came out with four new colors for the summer um, they had like one peachy color and then one kind of mauvey color and I saw that they had some matching phone cases and I had to get it so I love it that's been my everyday phone case okay so I'm gonna make some coffee now I just got a package from Nespresso I pretty much get the same pods every time because I only like the bar barista creations ones so oh and they also were having a sale I don't know if it's going on anymore but when you buy six sleeves, you got one for free. So I got one for free. Um, so I got three of the sweet vanillas. This is my number one all-time favorite. This is like the main one that I like. So we got those. And then my second favorite is the golden caramel. So 
I got just one of those this time. And then I also got the rich chocolate one. So for a while I didn't like this one, but I found a couple pods laying around in my pantry of the chocolate one. And so I tried it the other day and I was like, wait, this actually tastes good with um, some milk and a little bit of creamer. So I picked one of those up. And then I also got the Melozio Boost. I love this one when I'm just really struggling and on the days when I did not have enough sleep because this has 20% more caffeine than the other pods. And then the one I got for free is this one, Columbia. So this is the only one they were giving away for free. You couldn't like pick. Um, it was just a free sleep of Columbia, but I've tried Columbia and I really like it. It's a really bold taste, um, but it's pretty good. So that's all we got. Um, I'm going to restock. My whole system for my Nespresso is not as organized as it, as it used to be because I used to have underneath my Nespresso, I used to have that little like glass like pull out case where you put the pods in. Um, but it broke, it cracked because I had it in storage because I don't know if you guys remember when I got this new coffee maker, I got that for Christmas and then when I got that, I put my Nespresso into storage for about six months because I was very over the Nespresso. Um, but then like a month or two ago, I missed it. So I brought it back out of storage and then I realized in storage, my little container for my pods cracked. So I don't really feel like buying another one. I feel like I don't really need it. So on this shelf right now, this is where my camera is placed. You guys are currently bouncing on a couple of coffee mugs. So this is where I keep like all the coffee stuff. Like these are the coffee grounds um, for that coffee machine. Then I have like an extra one in the back from Blue Bottle Coffee. Love Blue Bottle. Um, and then I just have this little like container. This used to be a candle. I got that from Home Goods. I don't know if you guys remember, but I um, turned it into a little container storage bowl. So this is currently where I'm keeping my pods and I kind of like it better. I like how minimal it is compared to like the pull-out drawer. And the rest of the pods I just store like in my cabinets. So um, yeah, so let's see. We'll just put like a few here. I think I'll just do like one of the vanilla sleeves and then maybe the chocolate one and then I'll save the rest for later. But hey guys, how's everyone doing? July is coming to an end. Isn't that crazy? I can't believe it. It's like back to school season. I think kids start going back to school. Don't they start? I know it's in August, but I think it depends on the county um, and the state. I think a lot of kids actually go back super early in like middle of August, like the second week of August. Every time I go to Target, I see kids and their parents in the school supply section with, their, with the lists. That used to be my favorite part of back to school when I was a student. I used to love shopping for school supplies. Oh my God. I feel like that really translates into how I am as an adult because like when I was a kid I was so <clears throat> prepared like I would go shopping for my school supplies in July every year because I was just so eager I loved school I really loved school so much I was kind of a nerd like I actually liked going to school I loved learning I loved studying that's weird to say although in high school I really didn't like it that much like my junior year I think I was over public schooling and I was just ready to go to college so up until junior year I was a very good studious student and so I used to like take my mom I would always want to go school supply shopping early so I would always get it done and what I would do is I would have my little school supplies that I have my new notebooks my new folders my new pens and all that and I would sit it in a quarter in, a, in my bedroom and I would just stare at it for like a month and a half until school started school did not start until the first week of September in Maryland in my county so it would just be sitting there for a month and a half. Like I was just too eager to get school supplies. And I just feel like that translates into how I am as an adult. Like I love shopping for fall decor. Like I'm going to start shopping for fall decor soon in August for fall clothes, fall, whatever. I'm going to try not to buy too much, but I'm going to just start like window shopping. I love like looking back on how I was as a kid and just like being like, oh, this is why I am the way I am right now. But I love seeing the kids like getting their school supplies. It just makes me so nostalgic and I can't wait to have kids. And when we go shopping for school supplies, because I'm going to be just as excited as my children are. All right, let's make my coffee. I'm going to do an iced coffee today with a Nespresso pod. Let's see. i got to use up all these summer pods. I think I'm going to do the Double Espresso Sunny Almond Vanilla. This has been my favorite pod for making iced coffee with an espresso. It's been my favorite this past summer. It's so good. I'm pretty sure they don't sell it on an espresso website anymore because I think this was a seasonal flavor I'm using this little... Mason jar tumbler. I got this from Amazon.
Oh, so good. Mm. I went to Whole Foods yesterday. I did my um, grocery restock. Yeah, I got all my groceries for the week. I did my like weekly resetting yesterday. So I'm going to make some cottage cheese toast. I got some sourdough from Whole Foods. I love Whole Foods sourdough. They have the best sourdough in my opinion. Everyone's going on all these little quests to make their own sourdough bread and I really, really want to try but I just think that would be too much. I don't think I could be able to handle it because I just feel like there's so much that goes into it. So I wish I was the type of girly to make my own sourdough but I'm not. If you do, props to you because that looks like it's hard. But I'll just continue to buy mine at Whole Foods because I love it. So we're going to do some heirloom tomatoes. Beautiful tomatoes. I'll keep you my dirty little secret. I was listening to 2000s movie songs when I was on my walk. I love Spotify and all their playlists. They just like, they have so many good playlists. Oh, because I was on Instagram and I saw that Shrek 5 is coming out in 2026. Oh my God, I love Shrek. That was like me and my brother's favorite uh, movie growing up. I think I'll make one. One will be sweet, one will be savory. Okay, on the savory one, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of red pepper flakes on the bottom. And then we'll do, I think I just only need two. Just two. They're so big. Salt and pepper, of course. Mm, oh my God, it's so fresh. For this one, the sweet one, we'll do the peaches. Got the honey on top. There you go, you guys. Bon appetit. Mm. 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 It tastes so fresh, like farmer's market fresh. This one is indeed the best. I just did a big deep clean of the apartment. Today's Friday, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I like to do my deep cleanings on Friday so that I can relax for the weekend, have a nice clean apartment for the weekend. And I didn't vlog myself cleaning because sometimes when I'm really in the zone, I don't feel like picking up a camera and moving it like every angle. I just wanted to get it done and get it over with. Got the candle lit. That's my little $4 candle from Aldi. I love their candles. They smell so good. Um, this one's Island Hibiscus. I haven't burned it yet, but I figured I need to start burning it because that's a summer candle and I need to start burning up all my summer candles before the fall candles come out. I got some new flowers yesterday. I got these from Harris Teeter and I mixed a few different flowers together. I love the blue hydrangeas. I don't know what these are called, but I always see them and I always get them and they're so pretty, but I don't know the name. Comment the name if you guys know. And then some baby's breaths and I put them in my vase from Target. That's where that's from. In case you missed that vlog, I recently picked this up like a couple, maybe like three or four weeks ago. Um, but yeah, that's from Target. I love it. That's like my designated um, floral vase now. But yeah, it's all clean. And now we can relax and enjoy the rest of the evening. I wanted to show you guys a haul of some things I picked up from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Let me open up all of these curtains I close them because um, every time I ride Peloton I always I always close the blinds okay let me show you guys what we got so I did a pickup order this year I got this actually last week before I left for the beach um, I just haven't had a chance to film it and I think the sale is still going on I think it ends sometime in August like in the beginning of August I don't know the exact date I believe it's August 5th but I do know it's still going on as of today July 26th um, and their sales are always so kind of frustrating because they sell out really quick of, of a lot of things and then they'll come back in stock and you don't know when they come back in stock. Um, so there are a few things that I had on my wish list that were out of stock and I wasn't able to grab, but I did manage to get a few things. So I'll show you guys what I got. I got a mix of, um, some fashion and home things. I think that's mostly what I got. And then like beauty things. Okay. This is probably my favorite thing that I got from the sale and I already used this a couple times. 
so I got this little long champ this is the cosmetic bag is what they call it but I see everyone use this as like kind of a nano purse so that's what I've been using it as I added this little charm chain on here um, but I love it and I love the color so beautiful for fall time and I ordered a strap on Amazon it was like 20 bucks and you can um, attach it on and it's like a long strap so I can wear it as a crossbody. So this was $75. I got it for and I think the normal price is about $100. So yeah, I mean, honestly, this fits so much. This even fits my big chunky phone. My phone is so chunky enough because of this phone case. But it fits and it also fits my other essentials like my keys, hand sanitizer. So yeah, it fits in there very nicely. I usually carry bags around that are this size. I don't really like huge bags unless I'm like going to the beach or the grocery store but um, for the most part when I go out anywhere I like small bags because I don't like to be weighed down by a bag so I think this is the cutest thing this is my first time having a long champ I got a couple sweaters I'm so excited about this one this one is from free people the color looked different online it looked kind of more like this color like it looked a little bit more warmer but this is a more kind of muted nude brown um, I love the chunky material I love the huge buttons this was pricey I mean free people is a pricey brand I got this for a hundred but I think originally this is 160 or something around that um, I just love these chunky cardigans for the fall and the winter I'm definitely gonna wear this a lot like that look how cute that is um, the material is so soft I know this is gonna be so warm and comfy for fall time they also had gray and I think one other color and then I also got this cardigan this is from a brand called Treasure Bond. Um, oh, by the way, I got this in a size medium and I got this in a medium as well. I just really wanted a good gray button up card cardigan like this that I can wear in the fall time. I can even wear it now, like when it's cooler. And I just wanted something that I can wear um, or throw over my shoulders like this. Just a nice essential cardigan. I'm very into wearing cardigans like this now. This is $80. I got this for $50. The material feels amazing. It doesn't feel scratchy so those are the only clothing um, fashion things I got the rest I got are like beauty um, and home things oh I did get some earrings though from bottle bar I don't know how I feel about these I saw these online and they look cute but I feel like I don't really need them I feel like I have so many earrings like this they're cute but I just feel like I don't need them so I might return them I think I just bought this like out of impulse anniversary sale price is 25 they're originally 36 I don't know. I feel like these are not worth 25 I feel like I can get some on cheaper, uh, get some for cheaper on Amazon. And then I'm so excited about this purchase. This is a smart fragrance diffuser from this brand called Pura. I've been wanting to get this. I've had my eye on this. I was doing research about it. And then I saw that it was on sale for the anniversary sale. I was like, oh, this is fate. Like I've been wanting to get this and it's on sale. So I picked it up. This comes with the diffuser. So I'm not completely familiar with how this works yet. I think I'm going to set this up today. Um, but basically, it's something you plug in the wall, and it's basically like a diffuser. This is good for medium to large rooms. I'll probably put this in the, like, main area, the kitchen, living room area. The fragrances last up to 120 hours. Create timers and schedules. Made with safe and clean ingredients. Oh my god, this box smells so good. This is a Linens and Surf fragrance refill. And then also the Yuzu Citron. Mmm. Mm. Smells like citrus and oranges. And then there's a white tea. Oh my god. So good. And then lavender. Wow, they all smell so good. So yeah, it's just a wall plug. And it comes with one. Yeah, I'll read about this later. I'll set this up later tonight. Oh, this is so heavy. I bought this set of baking pans from Staub. Comes with three of them a small medium and large um i've just been needing a good set of baking pans and wow oh i love the color of this and i especially wanted a small one to make like one dish um meals in the oven and then this is the medium size oh my gosh i can't wait to make like desserts in here some like apple fritters or something like that and then this is the biggest size this is smaller than i Anticipated. I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger, but it's still a good size. And I got the beige color Staub. I've never had anything from that brand before, but this looks super nice. So I'm excited to, to use that and to cook some things in it. I did get this set from 
vacation it's vacation by vacation this um, you know beauty brand um, they make SPFs and I already opened this one because I wanted to smell it it smells really good and I love shimmer oils not just for summer like I will wear this in the winter in the fall too I just love you know if my skin is showing I want it to be glimmery and glowy and it also has SPF 30 so that'll be nice for like during the day I didn't try this one yet let's see Ooh, oh my gosh that is gorgeous I don't know if you'll be able to see but it definitely gives off a really nice glimmer but it's not too too glittery which I like I don't like too glittery and then this is the vacation scent perfume I love the packaging of both of these products so luxurious looking this one literally smells like being in the sun. It smells like vacation. Mmm. Mmm. It kind of smells like sunscreen a little bit, but in a perfumey way, you know what I mean? Oh my gosh, that smells so good. I love that. I wish I got this earlier in the summer. This would have been perfect for the whole summer. I feel like, well, summer ends in September technically, so I can use it until then. But yeah, this was 79. It's 113 value. I forgot to say the prices of the other stuff um I'll just link it in my description I don't I don't know what it is right now okay and then the last thing I got is from Hourglass this was $64 their products are really pricey like this typically would probably be around almost $90 um I love Hourglass I love their face products I love their bronzer that's the current bronzer I, I use um I love their blushes and their face powders that's really the only products I've ever tried from Hourglass are their face powders and face products um, so this is the Ambient Lightning Palette. It comes with a couple blushes, a bronzer, and a highlighter. So I thought this would be nice for travel. It's kind of an all-in-one um, palette. And these are the shades of the blushes and the bronzer. I thought it was a really good value, and I'll definitely use this. Not just when I travel, I'll use it all the time. So that's all I got from the Nordstrom sale. Um, I'll link everything in my description, but like I said, they sell out of things really fast. I don't know if these things are still in stock. I know this for sure is not in stock, unfortunately, because I just checked yesterday and it said it was sold out. I'm not surprised, though. This is a very popular product, and I'm actually surprised that it was on sale. Um, I got really lucky with this. So, yeah, I'll still link everything, and I'll also share my favorites because there's still a lot of things that are available that I am really loving, things that I already own. Because I noticed that a lot of the things that go on sale in previous years, they will go on sale again in the next few years. Like, they run the same items sometimes every year. So yeah, that's all I got. And I'm really excited about everything I got. I think I'm really happy with everything, aside from the earrings. I think I might actually return the earrings, because now that I'm looking at it, I don't, I'm like, I'm not in love with it, and I'm not going to keep anything that I don't really like that much. So I will return these with everything else. I love I want to figure out how to set up this diffuser okay so you have to download an app the Pura app to plug it in and blue we see a pulsing blue light okay I don't see it oh there it is and then I think you can control the diffuser yeah you can control it with the app so you can control the intensity um, I guess when to turn it on and off this app is so cool. I love how it's laid out. I'm walking through the like steps first. It just shows you like what it's gonna look like. You can adjust the intensity. Oh, that's so cool. You can set schedules for it. This is so advanced. Oh my God, it has a night light on it and you can change the color of the night light. How cool is that? No, this is like actually sick. Where should I put this? Where do I need a nightlight? Mm, maybe here? Maybe I'll just leave it here. Stop it. They have so many different scents from brands. They have Nest. They have Studio McGee. Anthropology, Disney. Like, they have these scents from all these brands. Plug in your diffuser upright. Okay, there it is. Connecting. It's connecting to the diffuser. Oh, it's connected. That's so cool. This is my idea of fun on a Friday night, guys. I'm setting up my new smart diffuser. I think for now I want to do the linens and surf. But I think this diffuser has spots for two different scents. So I'm going to do two. Let's do lavender for nighttime. I love lavender at night because it helps calm you down. 
um, and relax you. And then I'll do linens and surf because my all-time favorite scent for like the home, for laundry, even for like body fragrances, linen. That is one of my favorites. Oh, I have to scan them. Okay, I'm scanning. I don't see it. Turn on the light maybe. Is it dark? Oh, I'm dumb. I was scanning the wrong one. That's the QR code you're supposed to scan. Okay. Oh, cool. It showed up. Linens and surf. Okay, so um, the lavender one is going to be on every day from 8 to 11. And that's the light color I chose. You can choose any color. And we're going to save. I have my little schedule set up for this diffuser. That's for the daytime, and that's for the nighttime. Alrighty, I think, oh, we're all set! Yay! Literally, what I get excited for. So yeah, I'll have these two to replace it with when those are done, and then I'm gonna shop around. Maybe I'll get some from Nest. And they had a Disney one, like it was Elsa or something. Like, what is that? Oh, I wonder if you can shop on here. That'd be cool. Oh, you can shop, that's so cool. They have a little tab on the app and you can shop for fragrances, so I'll probably just do that on there. Oh, Otherland, I love that brand. I have a few of their candles. So there it is, plugged in. I'm gonna press start and see. Ooh. Then I can change the intensity here. Oh, I put this strong, I don't want it strong. Let's just go back to medium. And then I think this will just tell me how many hours it's been on. Oh, this is the fragrance runtime. It'll just tell you how much fragrance is remaining. Right now it's full, day since refill. Um, oh, and then it also says I no longer smell this fragrance. This is just <sighs> so cool. Sorry, guys. I keep saying that, but it just truly is. The Olympics started today. I missed the opening ceremony, so I'm playing a re a replay on the Peacock app, and I'm gonna bake a little bit. I got this a while ago. I forgot I had this, but I was in the mood to bake, so I'm gonna make these cookie brownie bars. We're gonna have a little um, cheat cheat day tonight. Oh my god, I always feel so bad for the countries that only have like like less than five people. I always feel so bad. Oh, I. Love the Olympics. Love, love, love. I am excited for gymnastics, obviously. I love swimming and diving, men's basketball. Um, what are the other ones I'm excited for? Oh, I'm excited to watch surfing because the surfing is going to take place and I think, is it Tahiti I think it's going to take place? And I saw videos of the Olympic Village in Tahiti and it just looks so so beautiful. Oh my god, the countries that have like the small amount of people have the little boat. Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, it went away. I couldn't see what country that was. The countries with the most amount of um, athletes, they have like the big long boats. And then the countries that have less than 10 people have little tiny boats. I don't know why that makes me sad. But even though some countries don't have a lot of athletes at least they have some representation that's all that matters so you know we got a root for usa obviously and philippines i think philippines only has i looked it up i think it was only 22 athletes and then i saw the united states had near 600 athletes piano player is beautiful fun fact i used to play piano from the fourth grade up until high school i played piano and then i quit in high school so i could focus on sports because i was doing like four different sports. But honestly, I really loved playing the piano. I still remember like most like basics, but I'm not nearly as good as I used to be. Oh, there's the UK, our brothers. Oh, Tom Daly. Oh my God, I remember everyone was obsessed with Tom Daly. Everyone had a crush on him and I think that was before he came out. <laughs> yeah, are you guys excited for the Olympics? It was so funny because me and my friends, we were so sad because Love Island ended. And we were like, what are we gonna watch now? Like, what are we gonna do every night now, now that Love Island is over? Because literally, we would all sit down at 9 p.m. and we would all text each other and like talk about each episode. We would like live watch it together. Now that it's over, we have nothing to do, but at least the Olympics are here. So now we have something to watch.
Good morning, guys. It's the next day. I forgot to end the vlog yesterday. Um, yeah, I didn't do much last night. I just watched the Olympics. I'm still watching it right now. It's on. Um, it's just literally on NBC and Peacock all the time. Like, I'm not watching anything else except the Olympics. Excuse my face, because I just woke up. I didn't do any skincare yet. Um, I just rolled out of bed and I had a cup of coffee because it's much needed. But today's Saturday, so... I'm glad it's the weekend and today I'm gonna go hang out with my family and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna have a chill weekend. Super random. I was rearranging my living room this morning and I wanted to get your guys' opinion because I think I want to change up the pillow situation. I took these two pillows off the couch. They used to be on either end, like on that end and then this end on the armrest. And I realized that it's so clustered with all these pillows, all of these pillows that line the couch and so I wanted more room so I took I took them off and I think I like it so much better without it what do you guys think like we don't even use them and honestly that pillow that's that's here I always take it off and put it on the floor because sometimes when I lay this way I I want more leg space so I move it sometimes I like eat my dinner here like I'll put my food here on the armrest and then sometimes like the pillow will obstruct the view of the TV. So I usually just always move that pillow anyway. And we have these pillows, so like we don't really need the armrest pillows. So I might put those into storage or use them somewhere else. So that's what I woke up this morning doing. Every time I wake up in the morning, I always just like change things in the apartment. I always wake up with an idea and a, and a mission to do something. But anyway, we're watching Olympics. And I'm gonna probably end the vlog here. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one.